Hey everyone, it's Mthrill Seriously, and welcome to the first episode of Manga Collecting 101. Today's topic might not be for everyone, but I feel that it is valuable to know a bit of background about what manga is. So this is more for beginners to manga, but hopefully more experienced people will be able to get something out of the video. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoys. So, what is manga? Manga is basically Japanese comic books, which originated during the 1900s. Manga is often made into Japanese cartoons and anime. Like American comics, manga has a very specific and unique drawing style. Japanese manga was originally heavily influenced by Disney works and designs. Perhaps the most important manga car ever, Osama Tezuka, gained inspiration from Disney films like Bambi. Osama Tezuka is a name that everyone who is a fan of anime and manga should know. Tezuka is known as the grandmaster and godfather of animation and Japanese comics, and is a pioneer for creating manga with stories, which began changing the industry. Osama Tezuka created and wrote more than 700 manga series, including the famous Astro Boy, who has become a world-renowned classic. He made Japanese anime and manga what it is today, and popularized it internationally with his great success. He inspired many others and continues to do so today, even after his death. Artists such as Hayao Miyazaki, Naoki Urasawa, and Akira Toriyama have cited Tezuka as an inspiration for their works. Recently, manga has become very popular in the 20th century, especially in countries like America and Europe. It is now a successful new medium that has become quite popular with particularly young people. The artists and writer of manga, also known as manga ka, are well respected for their work, much like writers of literature in America. Some people think that manga is mainly directed towards children. Originally it did start that way due to the basic stories and art, but nowadays the genre of seinen and jose have taken the industry by storm. There have been some manga that have changed and shaped the manga industry. Some of these include the Astro Boy, One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Akira, Card Captor Sakura, Case Close, and Slam Dunk. These are just a few titles that have helped shape manga today. The industry is constantly changing with new titles and manga car coming through every year. In Japan, manga is first published in manga magazines that collect different stories. One of the most popular magazines is Shonen Jump, which is a weekly magazine. It has become the best-selling manga magazine and one of the longest running, starting over 40 years ago. Shonen Jump used to be published physically in English for several years. This unfortunately ended in 2012 and they moved to releasing volumes in digital online. If certain series become popular, then the stories are collected and published into a new volume. A great manga to read to learn more about the manga industry and magazines is Bakuman by Sugumi Oba and Takashi Obata. Bakuman is a story that focuses on two young boys who want to become mangaka and follows their journey. It does a really great job at showing the process to becoming published manga authors and it makes you appreciate the work that goes into every chapter. The range of manga genres is diverse, with content ranging from history to futuristic science fiction and from teenage romance to profound themes about life. Manga is popular with people of all ages and backgrounds and are divided into different genres to assist people with finding manga they might like. There are five most common genres for manga. These are shonen, which is aimed primarily at young boys and males, titles like One Punch Man, Naruto, Bleach, My Hero Academia, Death Note and Haikyuu. Then we have shoujo, which is aimed at young females and girls, manga like Fruit Baskets, Orange, Oran High School Host Club, Skip Beat, Kimi no Todoke, and Strobe Edge. Then we have seinen, which is aimed at teenagers and men, due to its more mature themes. Some seinen manga are Vinland Saga, Berserk, Parasite, Vagabond, Monster, Tokyo Ghoul, and Gangster. Next we have Jose, which is similar to seinen, but Jose is intended towards young women, due to its more mature and realistic stories. Manga like Loveless, Carnival, Paradise Kiss, Princess Jellyfish, Nana, Honey and Clover, and Bunny Drop. And the final genre is Kao Dao Mao, which is known as children's manga. So the ranges of manga titles and genres have become huge, but unfortunately today, the manga industry is threatened due to online scans and illegal piracy. 
Manga usually follows the traditional style as found in Japan. Japanese manga is to be read from the right to the left, opposite of traditional English books. Not only do you read the pages from right to left, but you also read the panels and text from right to left. It can be kind of hard to grasp this different reading style, but I feel that once you get the hang of it, it becomes a really cool skill that you end up developing. Some manga when published has been changed to suit traditional American style books like Blade of the Immortal. Blade of the Immortal has been flipped to be read like a normal English book. Sometimes with the manga format being changed, it can impact on the translations from Japanese to English as they are cutting and changing panels. This change can be frustrating to manga cars and manga readers because we like to read manga in its traditional Japanese format and the way it was initially made. Manga is generally published in a much different format than American comics. Manga is usually much smaller and collected in small volumes. Sometimes to get a complete story, you have to read over 30 volumes, whereas a novel can be finished in just one book. Manga series can range from having one volume, which is also known as a one-shot, to having over 80 volumes, like the famous long-running One Piece. So here is a pretty basic guide on how to read manga. This just gives you an idea of the formats it's used and just kind of the style of how to follow the panels. So as it says here, manga reads from right to left. You start in the upper right corner of the upper right panel and you read the panel from right to left. You then repeat the process with the panel to the immediate left. And then after the final panel on the left, you move down the page and repeat starting with the first right panel. So yeah, as you can see, you follow the numbers here and you go from the right to the left and you also do the same kind of format with the text and speech bubbles. As you can see, the world of manga is incredibly vast and diverse and I unfortunately can't get into all of it in this one video. Manga has become a major part of Japanese cultural identity. Manga culture is celebrated in so many ways through places like manga cafes, museums, conventions, merchandise, entertainment, and bookstores. Manga is a fantastic hobby that not only provides enjoyment, but can also encourage other people to read if they don't typically like reading written novels. I personally love manga and I know a lot of other people do. Um, I really do encourage others to give it a chance and of course to please continue supporting this wonderful industry. That is it for this episode guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like so I know that you enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into this video and I really hope people end up liking it. Um, I ended up writing a script, finding all the images, syncing the text and words and stuff. Um, so yeah, I really hope people enjoyed it. So yeah, thanks so much guys and I'll see you in the next video.